Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to change the sales by slicer selection either it should be calendar year or financial year. It's a real world solution in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file and on the left side it has a year, month and amount and this uh, year wise summary and I have these two slicers one is for year and one is for calendar year or financial year right now I have selected 2013 financial year and it says the date of 7660-493 it is inclusive of this month from October, November, December and January because April is on 2013 if you look at this one it says from April 2012 to March 2013 if I change to 2012 it says blank because there is no data available from April 2011 to March 2012 now I am going to change it to calendar year if you click on the calendar year it says from January 2012 to December 2012 and look at this year on the slicer I mean on the table it is 5809357 it is matching here now I am changing the year to 2013 it gives you the result of 2129976 now let's go into the practical how I have done this basically this is a sales table as you are aware of it the sales by month and sales by year next what I have done is I have create a table one is for calendar year, two is for financial year. It's a static table. This from table and new table. That's it. And then I have this calendar table. If you don't know about how to create a calendar table, I have made a video about the calendars in Power BI. Just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one. For the calendar, the minimum of order date and the maximum of delivery date. So it gives you the dates from 1st of October to I guess end of September 2013 I have written here the sales amount on the sheet 2 is a sales table financial calculated sales so this is the DAX function I have written here so I am declaring the variable calendar value equal to calculate sum x filter in the table of sheet 2 that is orders table I am selecting the year equal to the selected value year so comma sheet amount so it's just filtering the year from the orders table that is sheet 2 and getting the sales amount for the whole year which the user has selected this I am taking it in one variable and in another variable I am taking for the fiscal year that is for financial year calculate sum of sheet 2 amount comma the dates between the calendar auto date comma dates the user has selected I am using the date function here date for the year I am using the user selected year minus 1 this is the trick I have used here minus 1 comma 4 means the starting of April comma 1 the starting of April and every year it has to start from April and ends on the March so dates between comma the start date is this one and end date is user selected year comma 331 that is March 31 so what will happen is if the user selected 2013 then this will give the result of 2012 April 1st to 2013 31st March and the days difference between these two it will extract the sales amount value for the financial year and then I am just using the if condition for the result if the user selected the table type which I have created the last at the bottom here the table type and the serial number is 1 1 is for calendar year and 2 is for the fiscal year that is financial year so if the user has selected 1 then show me this calendar year value if the user has selected the financial year then show me this value as simple as that by using this one, I can able to achieve this result. The user selected calendar year, it gives me the calendar value. 
the user selected the financial year it gives me the financial year data now you may wonder that how i have achieved this one the text for that also i have written a dax function similar to that so i am declaring the variable as the calendar year is then show me jan as a static value and then the selected year and to december selected value year as simple as that if it is in financial year then it has to show from april minus 1 that's the main thing here to march to the current year again i am using this if condition selected value is equal to 1 that is calendar value if not then it shows the financial year value that's why it is showing this april 2012 to march 2013 if we select the calendar year it will show me january 2013 to december 2013 this is how you can able to achieve the sales data either you can by calendar year or by financial year i hope you like this video about how you can change the sales data by calendar or financial year with the using of a slicer and a small trick if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below i will try to make the video about your real time scenarios if you face any thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video